I'd like to start with a simple question: Why do the poor make so many poor decisions? Why? Well, the standard explanation was once summed up by the British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, and she called poverty a personality defect, <laughs> a lack of character, basically. Now, I'm sure not many of you would be so blunt, but the idea that there's something wrong with the poor themselves is not restricted to Mrs. Thatcher. Some of you may believe that the poor should be held responsible for their own mistakes. It is what I'm about because nobody else is going to wake up and care more about your life than you.、Mm -hmm. If you won't wake up every day and say, "I need to get rich," nobody else is going to wake up and say, "I need to make him rich." Yeah. Nobody else is going to do it for you. So if you don't think it,、mm. nobody else is going to think it, which means nobody thinks it. So it's down to you, right? And others may argue that we should help them to make better decisions, but the underlying assumption is the same: there's something wrong with them. If we could just change them, if we could just teach them how to live their lives, if they would only listen. And to be honest, this was what I thought for a long time. And I can sum it up in just two words: scarcity mentality. It turns out that people behave differently when they perceive a thing to be scarce. And what that thing is doesn't much matter, whether it's not enough time, money, or food. You all know this feeling when you've got too much to do, have the meeting that's starting in five minutes, or the bills that have to be paid tomorrow. You know this narrows your focus to your immediate lack. So the long-term perspective goes out the window. You could compare it to a new computer that's running ten heavy programs at once. It gets slower and slower, making errors. Eventually, it freezes, not because it's a bad computer. But because it has too much to do at once, and the poor have the same problem. They're not making dumb decisions because they are dumb, but because they're living in a context in which anyone would make dumb decisions. Why do we make the wrong choices? Why do we say we're going to do something and all of a sudden we do something else? And the number one reason is called stress. You turn on a primitive nervous system called the fight or flight nervous system. And the moment you turn on that fight or flight nervous system to prepare yourself for some threat in your external environment, this is pretty adaptive. But human beings, we can turn on the stress response just by thought alone. Bills are pay, adding up, rent is overdue, problems at work, and as you think about those problems, you turn on the stress response just by thought alone. Are that 70 percent of the time people are living in stress, and when you live in stress, it's not a time to create. When you live in stress, it's not a time to be defined by a vision of the future. When you live in stress, all of your attention is on the outer world and not on the inner world because there's danger out there, and so people stop creating when they're living in stress and they lose sight of where they're going. George Orwell. One of the greatest writers who ever lived experienced poverty firsthand in the 1920s. The essence of poverty, he wrote back then, is that it annihilates the future. Now those words are every bit as resonant today. So suddenly, I understood: poverty is not a lack of knowledge. I think that a lot of people, the main reason people aren't Aren't rich. There's probably three primary reasons. They're either lazy, they're arrogant, or they're stupid. Stupid, I think, is also a very small percentage. I think that stupid is a small percentage because I don't think that IQ. In fact, it's been proven IQ has nothing to do with how successful you are. Right. Very rich people, very smart people are broke. Very dumb people are rich. Like, like, so I don't think that stupid is the reason people aren't rich. One characteristic emerged. As a significant predictor of success, and it wasn't social intelligence, it wasn't good looks, physical health, and it wasn't IQ. It was grit. Grit is passion and perseverance for very long-term goals. Grit is having stamina. Grit is sticking with your future. 
day in, day out, not just for the week, not just for the month, but for years, and working really hard to make that future a reality. Grit is living life like it's a marathon, not a sprint. Our data show very clearly that there are many talented individuals who simply do not follow through on their commitments. In fact, in our data, grit is usually unrelated or even inversely related to measures of talent. They're much more likely to persevere when they fail because they don't believe that failure is a permanent condition. I think lazy is actually quite a small contingent because I think a lot of people get out here and they work very hard to a degree. Like even if you're a trash man, that's still work. You're working hard, you're just not making any money. And also I think if you could show somebody how to make money, a lot of people would, would do it. I don't think they're that lazy. If you say, look, press this button for money, they're not gonna go, no, I don't, I can't be bothered. They're all right, okay. They're just lazy to find out how perhaps. Yeah. But once they know how, they'll do it. The reason 98% of people aren't rich is because they're arrogant. They're brutally arrogant. And I say that because you will stand up and say, I'm gonna do a, uh, an event and I'm gonna teach you how to make money from real estate. And people will look at you with all your success and go, what does he know? Not, not worth my time. You're the millionaire, they ain't. How arrogant. There's so much stuff that can be done almost for free. People think they need money to, I need, a, I need money. If I had money, I'd start a business. Tell me your business plan and let's find a way to do it for pennies. There must be a way. If people want it, yeah. you can sell it. You can like do that part first. Yeah. This is another thing that's interesting. I think there are so many businesses, especially in the modern digital world, which can be started effectively for free. Yeah. It's different if you have to get a shop premises. That's different, fine. And most of smart people, they always want to do successful things, quick, easy things. And I think it's not easy to be successful quickly. Think creative. Every business starts from tiny business. A lot of people say, if I have money, I'm going to do this. I say, you will never have money, right? It's not about money. If you do these things, you dedicate, you really want to do it. When you do right, when you do proper, if you do the right direction, and you make progress, money will come. So I think, don't worry about the future. Prepare for the future. Make your own future. We need to take our best ideas and we need to test them. We need to measure whether we've been successful and we have to be willing to fail, to be wrong, to start over again with lessons learned. Thank you.